Victorian Christmas Traditions The Victorian era, 1837 to 1901, during the reign of Britain's Queen Victoria, had a significant impact on how Christmas is celebrated today. Many of our modern Christmas traditions have their roots in this period. Christmas Cards One of the most prevalent traditions that originated during the Victorian era is the sending of Christmas cards. The first Christmas card was commissioned by Sir Henry Cole in 1843. He wanted a way of thanking people for the kind deeds they had done for him in the past year, and also a way of encouraging them to continue being kind. This tradition quickly spread and is still very popular today. Christmas trees. While Christmas trees had been used in Germany for centuries, it was not until the Victorian era that the tradition spread to Britain and then to America. This started when a print of Queen Victoria, Prince Albert, and their children gathered around a Christmas tree was published in the Illustrated London News in 1848. The image popularized the idea of a family Christmas tree. Christmas crackers. Christmas crackers are another tradition that began in the Victorian era. These festive table decorations that pop when pulled apart to reveal a small gift, a paper hat, and a joke or riddle were first created by London sweet maker Tom Smith in 1847. Christmas dinner. The tradition of having a grand Christmas dinner also took shape during the Victorian era. While the wealthy would feast on goose or beef, the less privileged would often enjoy a simple meal of rabbit. However, by the end of the Victorian period, turkey had become the most common main dish of the Christmas feast, a tradition which continues today. Boxing Day. Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, became an official holiday during the Victorian era. It was traditionally a day off for servants who would receive a Christmas box from their masters, often containing money and leftover food. Today, it's a public holiday in many countries tied to the British Commonwealth. Carol singing although carols themselves are much older. The tradition of carol singers going from house to house came about during the Victorian era. This was also when many famous carols, including Hark, the Herald Angels Sing, and O Come All Ye Faithful, were written or translated into English. In summary, the Victorian era played a significant role in shaping the Christmas traditions we know and love today. From Christmas cards to carol singing, these traditions continue to contribute to the festive and joyful atmosphere that surrounds the holiday season. Christmas Pantomimes The tradition of Christmas pantomimes, a type of musical comedy stage production designed for family entertainment, became popular during the Victorian era. These shows often featured fairy tales or nursery rhymes and included songs, slapstick comedy, and dancing. Yule Logs The custom of burning a Yule log dates back to before the Victorian era, but it was during this time that it became a major part of the Christmas festivities. Victorian families would often select a large log decorate it, and burn it in the hearth. The log was lit from a piece of the previous year's log, which had been kept for good luck. Christmas Decorations Victorians decorated their homes lavishly. Holly, ivy, and mistletoe were common decorations. The use of candles on Christmas trees began during this era, although this tradition has largely been replaced by electric Christmas lights for safety reasons. Christmas Pudding The tradition of making a Christmas pudding was popularized during the Victorian era. Stir Up Sunday, the last Sunday before Advent, was the traditional day to make Christmas pudding. Everyone in the household, including the children, would give the mixture a stir and make a wish. Ghost Stories Telling Ghost Stories on Christmas Eve was a popular Victorian tradition, inspired by Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. This tradition has mostly faded, though some people still enjoy a good ghost story during the holiday season. 
was sailing. Was sailing was a tradition of visiting neighbors on Christmas Eve and drinking to their health from a shared bowl. The word wassail comes from the Anglo-Saxon phrase wise hael, which means good health. Christmas candles candles were used extensively in Christmas decorations during the Victorian era. A large candle was often placed in the window as a sign of welcome to those passing by. On Christmas Eve, many families would light a candle and let it burn until morning. This was considered a symbol of warmth and lasting life. Candle-lit Christmas trees. The tradition of decorating Christmas trees with lit candles also started during the Victorian era. Small candles were attached to the branches of the tree using wax or pins. This tradition is less common today due to the fire risk and electric lights are now the norm. Twelfth Night Twelfth Night, January 5th, marked the end of the Christmas season for Victorians. They celebrated with a party that involved burning the greenery that had been used to decorate homes for Christmas. This was done in a big bonfire, a tradition that harks back to older mid-winter fires. Fireplaces Fireplaces played an integral part in Victorian Christmas traditions. They were the place where the Yule log was burned, but they were also where families hung their stockings for Father Christmas, the British equivalent of Santa Claus, to fill with gifts. These fire-related traditions added warmth and light to the Christmas celebrations, symbolizing hope and life during the dark winter months. They also served as gathering points for families and communities, encouraging togetherness and shared celebration during the holiday season. The burning of the Christmas greenery on Twelfth Night, also known as Epiphany Eve, was indeed a significant tradition during the Victorian era, and it was often accompanied by specific rituals and activities. The greenery, which included holly, ivy, mistletoe, and the Christmas tree, was not to be taken down before Twelfth Night to avoid bad luck. On the night of the twelfth day, January 5th, families would often host a party that marked the official end of the Christmas season, activities associated with this tradition, bonfires. The main activity was the burning of the greenery. This was often done in a grand bonfire. In some communities, this was a communal event, with neighbors gathering to throw their greenery into a large shared fire. This harks back to older midwinter fire festivals, where the flames were thought to symbolize the return of the sun and the promise of spring. Wassailing Twelfth Night was also a traditional time for wassailing. Wassail is a hot, mulled punch often associated with Yuletide. Participants would drink from a wassailing bowl to toast each other's good health. They would often sing, dance, and make a lot of noise to awaken the cider apple trees and scare away evil spirits to ensure a good harvest. While the burning of the greenery and Twelfth Night celebrations are less common today, they remain a part of the rich fabric of historical Christmas traditions. King Cake In some traditions, a special Twelfth Night cake, also known as a king cake, was baked with a bean and a pea hidden inside. Those who found them became the king and queen of the evening's festivities, plays and masquerades. Twelfth Night was often marked by festive plays and masquerades. In fact, Shakespeare's play Twelfth Night is named after the traditional celebration and merrymaking associated with this day. <laughs>